In this video, I'm gonna give you a completely new and unique way to make some of the best and most unique content you have ever seen. And not only that, you can do this fairly programmatically in the sense that you can churn these out very, very quickly. And these articles do rank on Google. So first of all, let's talk about what kind of articles these will be. So there, this article here, how much is a hunting license? All 50 states, 2023 updated. So I'm guessing Hunter Wholesale does this every single year. They write one of these and I don't know how they do it specifically. However, I'm gonna show you a method that will probably outrank these, this article right here. So sorry to Hunter's Wholesale, but I'm gonna show people how to outrank you in this video. Now this is going to involve using their content, but only for the numbers, okay? All I want are these numbers here, which for me, this is not plagiarism or anything like that because I, if I was doing this manually, it would be the same thing. This is probably one of the websites I would get the information from because there are other options, but this one has specifically everything we're looking for. If you do not want to use someone else's website like this, then you can use things like state comparisons, uh, which is what this is here. And this would actually be an even more complete article at the end of the day. However, this will take a lot longer and this is also only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's only like 10 states, okay? So for me, it's definitely better to find an article just like this. And then let's just have a quick look at how this article is ranking. So this is that article right here. And you can see that it doesn't get like a huge amount of traffic, but considering how quick quickly you can make this content and considering this is probably a fairly new article. Yeah, it looks like it was released like a month ago or something. Then we can for sure guess that this will bring in a lot of traffic at some point. There's a reason that they're doing this every year. Okay, that's my logic. I know that they're making one of these every year because it's good and they get a lot of traffic from it. So let's talk about how we can utilize ChatGPT plugins to make some really amazing and truly unique content. So the two plugins we wanna do are Dai, Dai, why, what is this name? It's not even diagram properly, but whatever, it's diagra.am, okay? So you can go to plugin store and you can actually search now, which was a very, I don't, when are they gonna make this better? Like, please. I think you can write DA and it should come up. And if it doesn't, then maybe write DAIG. And then it seems to be right here. So yeah, just install this. And you can see here there's builds, charts, graphs, and more. So you might be able to see where this is going. And then we're gonna be using WebPilot to basically um, open the web page. Okay, so using a very simple prompt, using WebPilot, search this page and take all the tables from it. I'm gonna to have to rewrite this because the original test had tables. This one doesn't have tables. Uh, but rewrite the tables with slightly different information. So like, I just wanted to add like $10 or whatever, or like $1 or something in this case, just so it's not exactly the same. Maybe like round them up or something. And then this is the website and then use diagram or whatever to then make diagrams from the numbers from each table. So let's just rewrite this quickly and take all the data from it. Rewrite the data into tables, but round up or down to the nearest um, 10. And then we'll say, I think that's fine. So we're gonna hit enter here and we're gonna see if it understands. So obviously there are 50 states, so this is gonna be a little bit uh, longer compared to the example that I just did for myself to test how this works. However, we can still very easily get all of the information. So let's see what it comes out with for the first part of the information. Okay, so this is, it's just an Alabama as an example, which is fine because obviously to do this entire thing, it will still take about 20 minutes, 25 minutes to do all of it for all 50 states. Like this isn't like an instant fixed. The, the whole point of this video is to show you how to make better content. And you will have to make this apply to your niche. Obviously, this is just an example niche that I just made up. This is not the niche that I'm currently working on. This is just an example. Um, and basically what you can do is now you can say, can you give me an outline for an article similar to the one I sent you before? 
So what you would do is, first of all, you would repeat this process for each state, or you would just say, give me the next 10 states, give me the next 10 states. Let's do that. Yeah, uh, give me the next five states. So let's just see if it, it probably understand that. Yeah, perfect. But I'm going to stop it here because it tries to use diagram. But what I actually want is I want the data in a table first and then the diagram. So the really nice thing about ChatGPT, this is why I actually like using the interface, is because you can press stop generating if it's not giving you what you want. And you can say, actually, can you do it like this? And I find that really, really useful. So when I'm doing things like this, and also because this is how you use plugins, but when I'm doing specific things like building outlines or building content quickly to include in an overall article, what I've been doing recently is I've been using ChatGPT to create like the tables and now the diagrams. I just found out you could do diagrams. And then what we have to do, let's just say continue here. And then putting them inside the article using the playground, which is going to be the next part of the process, which I will show you after this part. So just to give you some idea, like this does take a little bit of time. So to make these diagrams, it does, it does take a little bit of time. But honestly, I love the integration here. And the really, really nice part, which I will also show you after, is the way that the, the, the content is then embedded onto the website. This is a really, really big discovery, um, in my opinion, because it makes creating SEO-friendly pages much easier. Because obviously, Google absolutely loves things like this. And you can actually see these are, f these are pictures, okay? So inside WordPress, they have alt text, which I will also show you after. The only thing that keeps happening is this weird thing where it keeps cutting it off. I'm just going to assume that this is some weird bug that will be eventually fixed. I'm not really sure why it's doing that, to be honest with you. Yeah, look, you can see it's an SVG. So it's actually a photo. So what we're going to do is we're going to say, can, in fact, we're not even going to ask for an outline because there's no need for this particular thing. So we've got these states here. So let's press copy here. You could use ChatGPT here, but I'm going to use the playground just because I personally prefer it. Uh, I know not everyone has access to GPT-4 here. So if you don't, then either use 3.5 or um, use the interface here. I am just going to use uh, this because I find it much, much better. And I do have access to it. So it now has all of this information. So what I'm going to say is I'm going to put it on maximum length, really high, temperature, really low. And I'm going to say, can you use this information? Uh, can I, can you use these tables and, uh, diagrams to create an article in markdown formatting with creativity and bursiness like a human? Um, the article is about hunting costs in the US. Use a lot of markdown formatting, such as lists, etc. Do not forget the tables or diagrams. Okay, we're gonna press submit here and uh, we'll see how this does. So hunting, hunting license costs in the United States. So this is just filler content right here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go on Coffee Somnium because it's my kind of test website now. Um, and my friend is testing, uh, I thought he was testing our SEO tool. I know that he watches all of my videos. So if you're watching this far in, then please continue working on that tool because we do need that tool for everyone. So I was gone for maybe two or three minutes just there, just getting the clothes from outside. And this is the result. So I'm going to just assume that everything's here. It looks like everything's good. So what I always do is go to markdown to html.com. Put the mark down here and then make sure you get the raw html from here you can probably just copy and paste normally but let's get the raw html just in case and then whether you're making a page or a post that's completely up to you and then literally all we have to do is Control v and you can see it's almost there so it's not it hasn't made a table and it does do this weird thing with these images but you can just drag them out like this and make them bigger um, we'll make sure that it's in the thing like that. I'm not really sure what's going on with this like weird thing. I'm just going to assume these are bugs that will be fixed at some point. So let's just get rid of, let's just do that. I don't know what happens there. 
So eventually this will be a lot more um, or a lot less buggy, I guess, but you can see there are still bugs right now. But this is the kind of content, this is already better than the content that we took the information from. I would have preferred these in tables. I did say, I think, specifically in the prompt to make tables. I didn't. They were tables though. I don't know why it's got rid of the tables. But yeah, basically normally it would make tables here. Um, but you can see, anyway, the original article does have lists. So the table is probably not even necessary. Just the really, really cool thing is once I press publish, we'll just publish this normally. We won't change any of the whatever. So hunting license costs in the United States. We have the table of contents, but then we have these beautiful graphs that you can see here. And yeah, I mean, it's not like the, it's not the, the most useful of graphs, but it just, it's just something extra. And you can see as well, these are images, okay? Uh, I don't really know how this works, but they're images because if you go on edit page and then if you click on them and then if you actually click on the, I guess, image, you can see it says it has an alt text, which means this is 100% an image. It's an SVG. I've never really fully understood SVGs. They are a little bit weird. But this is something extra that other people will not have. And that is just a really, really good and easy way to rank on Google. I wanted to show this to people. There are other plugins which look very, very interesting as well. This is just the first one I've experimented with. But if you click on new chat and go back on the plugins hub, it looks like if you put like image, for example, there's a lot of really very interesting things here, which I did not know about. And this is just basically a very easy way to include images into your article, I am assuming. So this is something that I'm going to be doing for sure, uh, a little bit more experimenting with these plugins to see how e easily we can put more embedded content, more unique content, that kind of stuff onto blog posts just to help us rank. Thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful and I'll see you very, very soon with hopefully my my video, my big video, which is currently two and a half hours long. Anytime I learn something worth uh, teaching though, I am making a video about it. Peace out.